Hundreds of thousands celebrate when St. Nicholas arrives in town on a steamboat. The event is almost like Amsterdam's answer to the carnival in Rio de Janeiro. Every year, the jolly old man with the white beard travels from Spain to the Netherlands, according to a local legend. His helpers are the Zwarte Pieten, or Black Peets. The figures have a special place in the hearts of Dutch children, especially for as long as they believe they're real. Before I knew what he actually stood for, I believed in St. Nicholas. Now I know he doesn't really exist, and I don't put my shoes out every time. But now a group of United Nations experts is questioning the tradition of the Black Peats, saying it has its roots in the days of slavery. They say it's no longer politically correct and should be done away with. It's a lot of uh, we think about. <laughs> Why? Why? It's tradition and um, even, even the black people, you know, in the other islands, they're uh, thinking the same as, uh, as, the, as the white people. So. The children doesn't uh, uh, care if, uh, if they are black or if they are a color or if they are white. They don't see the difference. It's just a party where they get candy and presents. And Others sided with the UN experts and staged a protest against the Black Peats before St. Nicholas made his grand entrance. The demonstrators see the figures as a symbol of discrimination. Performance artist Quincy Gario even filed a complaint with the European Court of Human Rights. Gario hosts a weekly talk show on a multicultural radio station. The main topic today is fashion. But Gario also says a few words about the Sinterklaas parade. The figure of Black Pete is connected to our colonial history because of the time frame in which it was concocted, um, 1828 and 1851. And the way how that is embodying racism is because it once again presents a black body as a commodity, something that can be stripped of its humanity and used for entertainment value. Historians at the Mertens Institute are looking into the matter. Old depictions of St. Nicholas consistently show Black Peter as a servant. And it's his task to punish children who've been naughty. Some see that as racist, but from a bygone age. The character, the figure of Black Pete has changed from a boogeyman who has to scare children maybe also, or take away them with a sack to, to, uh, to Spain. He changed very much into a good character because people already perceived, felt also already for some decades ago that, that, there, that, that, that it was a little bit difficult to have a black person being a boogeyman. But with the protests this year bigger than ever before, the organizers gave in and made a few more changes. The Black Peats weren't wearing their traditional golden earrings, an accessory that some feared would identify the figure with black slaves. Scholar Marie Jose Valters agrees it was better to leave out the earrings, but she thinks the United Nations getting involved was overdoing it. She's a big fan of St. Nicholas, having even written a reference work about him. She says she can relate to Dutch people's fears of losing cherished traditions. It's so close to each other, and they don't want to have other people saying, well, uh, you should stop it. Uh, especially when it are foreigners, that's even more uh, difficult to say. It's like the Spanish with their uh, fights of the bulls, with the bullfights. Uh, Spanish people don't want other people to say, well, you have to, to stop it. Pete has already made himself scarce on Amsterdam streets. Last year he was part of the strings of festive lights, but this year he's vanished. Another minor victory for the anti-Black Pete protesters. But the pro-Black Pete crowd has lots of support. Their Facebook page is called Petiti, a pun on the Dutch word for petition. 
It's racked up over 2 million likes. It says we want to keep our Black Pete and anyone who doesn't like him can leave. Some fear that questioning the tradition could play into the hands of right-wing populists and swell their ranks. That's not my fault. That's not the fault of the victims of racism. That's the fault of uh, education system here that's constantly telling people, hey, you're better than the rest of the world. On December 6th, St. Nicholas ships out back to Spain, while the anti-Black Pete protesters are only just hitting their stride.